Well, again, everyone, you know, this cat story has it's just got me so annoyed all night that I have to do a part two to this video as the more I think about it, the more I've read. And uh, first thing I'm going to do, I need to correct. It wasn't, the story wasn't originally posted in The Guardian. It was posted in The Daily, the Daily Mirror. So they're a different newspaper, you know, daily newspaper with an online presence. And this is online, but I'm sure it was in the, in the paper as well. Because a million, 1.8 million people follow this website online as well. So you know some, some government agent or some child protective agent had to have seen this. And, you know, you read the, the, the Guardian or the Mirror article, and it is a bit different in that it's, it's in pounds. So despite sending 15,000 pounds a year on vet bills, which is about $23,000, pet insurance and food. Now, the article yesterday said that was all for vet bills. Pet insurance and food, the mom of two says she remains totally dedicated to her cats. I wonder if she has insurance on her children. She's got the she's got the cats insured. Does she have the she have the, the children insured? She have herself insured, but she sure as shit has these cats insured. It appears she's from Plymouth, um, wherever the hell that is. In, uh, in England. So if you're a subscriber and you're familiar with the area of Plymouth in, in Great Britain, maybe you want to notify child services about this woman and maybe maybe these kids are in a, are in deep deep trouble and you know and here, here's the other part where, where it's a where, where it's different from the cat uh, channel.com which really tried to fluff it up this is still fluff but Kelly is an award-winning cat breeder and her work has helped promote rare sh snowshoe breed internationally but living with some of them has posed serious health risks and to minimize these she had to modify her home to be cat friendly the walls of her living space are now coated in white plastic to prevent the smell and the spread of disease. Minimize the health risk. So there's still so there's still knowingly having health risks, and you're still choosing to have your children around it just so you can raise these cats and make no money out of it. No money out of it. And later in the article, it goes on to say that though she gives a lot of them away. She just becomes too attached to some of them, and they and she keeps them forever. And though that's disturbing, you know, you go to the Cat Fancy Facebook page where, you know, I saw this on originally. And when I made the video yesterday, there was like 750 or some odd comments. At present time, there's almost 1,100 comments comments and I just going to most recent okay and this is what these are these are these are the responses you get Selena my cats no non negotiable Alderese cats always this is one after another Kumi oh my god my cat Jackie I had to make that choice ten years ago it was stay with me or leave my puppy outside or he would leave I still have my dog Elaine Cat, Briley, Cat, Sandy, Cat, Iris, great job, ladies. Ruth, I love my cats, but I love my husband more. Thank God. Gail, the cats stay. Carol, husband, oh, good. Donna, my cats. Minervina, my cats. Stephanie, cats. Victoria, I prefer animals. Nice to see her remaining loyal to her animals. What about her kids? What about her kids? Woman after woman after woman. It's 95% in support of this woman. Throw your husband away. Sweep your kids under your rug for the cats. Lynn, clear for me too. The cats win every time. 
Kim, I'm with you, lady. To have unconditional love, there's always a choice, but to make, but choose the kitties. Margaret, I'm married to the biggest cat lover on the planet, so I'm okay. We've rescued five babies. They're not babies. They're pets. They're cats. Donna, my cats. Patty, brave lady, you deserve a better person. No, your kid, her, no, her kids deserve a better mother. And whatever men had the certain mis had the un the misfortune of running across any of you women who women who have posted this shit deserve better. Any children raised by you women who have posted in this thread, cats, knowing that she has 42 animals and plastic on her roofs to minimize health risks while while blowing 23 grand on them deserves better. Star, who else loves this? Nancy, great. Every woman should follow this lesson. Nothing is more important than your fur children. Men could be replaced. Your fur babies cannot. Really? Really? Because if my cats die, I can go right down to the shelter and get two more cats. Can your real children be replaced? You women are disgusting disgusting and then if you get called out you're gonna go and go and want to hide behind your fucking vaginas oh you're attacking a woman war on women bullshit what about the war on the children here because that's what this is this is a war on children and this is a war on husbands absolutely abhorrent Absolutely abhorrent. I posted a link on this video, on this channel, on this Cat Fancy page. So anybody who wants to comment on it, please do. So it'll go right to the top of their top comments. Because this is just disgusting. You got three different organizations here. Organizations is what they are. One, a legitimate media organization, the Mirror, even though it's they, technically, I guess it's a tabloid. But they got a million people, million eight people following it online. I don't know what their what their circulation is of, of their hard newspaper in UK. But I imagine it, it's probably been pretty big since the paper's been around since 1903. Disgusting. Disgusting. And if you agree with this woman and you're a subscriber of mine, unsubscribe. If you're a friend of mine on Facebook, unfriend me. Because this is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting that this many women would choose cats over their children and their husbands and their own health, mind you. Because the kids are obviously going to, but she's actually even risking her own health, which isn't as bad as risking her children's health and ruining her marriage over it. But she's also so detrimental that she's going to poison herself. And this has nothing to do with cats. I love cats. I've had cats all my life. If anything happened to my cats, I'd be devastated. But if you ask me to choose between my cats and my daughter, or cats and my wife. Come on, man. This doesn't need to be explained. Absolutely disgusting. This is Ollie Matthews. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.